Max told me not to do any comedy. You understand how comedians are. Messed in the head. Is everybody having a good time at Nexus? That's a huge tear for not very many people. Where is everybody? No answers. They're missing out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, while, they, while they dress the set, I'm, I'm up here talking to you about um, what, what you're going to see. So I'm going to be kind of the moderator. I'll be, uh, you know, trying to keep these two apart as they debate Bitcoin versus gold. I think I know where everybody in this audience pretty much. But side they. <laughs> um, you know, Max and I, actually our website is maxkaiser.com, silver, gold, Bitcoin. So we cover all of them. But Bitcoin, uh, gold has been, it's $1,300 right now. It was $1,300 in 2011, in 2012, 2013. So this has like been $1,300 forever. So uh, I, I see that people might be a little bit bored of it. Everybody got bored of it, especially while watching Bitcoin soar and soar and soar. And, uh, you know, Peter Schiff, of course, hated Bitcoin when it was $3 when we spoke to him. He hated it when it was $20 when we spoke to him. He hated it when it was 100 200 1000 2000 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. So we'll get to the heart of why he still hates it all the way up. I think, he, I think he's kind of being converted though. No, that, that now. Which white paper? Oh, Satoshi's. Because, you know, I have to warn Peter, he kind of sounds like Jamie Dimon, you know, sometimes. So. I think we can all agree one doesn't want to sound like Jamie Dimon. But, you know, to be fair, he's a good sport, I think, coming up and uh, confronting all sorts of crypto fanatics. And uh, he's, 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 he's willing to take them all on. But so I guess we, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to introduce them now. We're going to be recording this for Kaiser Report, too. So it'll air. On, on the network. <laughs> Did you hear Max scream back there? Okay, are Max Kaiser and Peter Schiff ready? I, I saw their lights turn off. Okay, introducing the one and onlys, Max Kaiser and Peter Schiff. Yeah. You two over there? Max came dressed for a fight. Yeah, I know. Well, he took off his baseball cap. And he was ready to go. Yeah, I'm up to getting all formal and everything. See, I didn't. He didn't get the the, the dress code memos. <laughs> Peter Schiff came dressed to sell Max a dodgy CDO. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, Peter, one of the loudest claps. I don't know if you heard me back there, but one of the loudest applause I got was when I said that Peter's sounding a lot like Jamie Dimon these days. Oh well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I did disagree with some of the things Jamie Dimon said. Oh, well, tell us what you disagree. So, <laughs> Jamie Dimon, in case you don't know, he's the CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, the largest bank in America, and he called Bitcoin a fraud and that governments will shut it down. And he compared it to the tulip bulb mania. Peter Schiff, what, yeah, well, first, well, first say what you disagreed. Well, I compared it to tulip bulbs long before Jamie Dimon. But, um, no, what, what Jamie Dimon said is he said, look, I can see why criminals would want to use something like this, but I have no idea why an American citizen would ever need anything other than the U.S. dollar because, you know, he, so he doesn't see the risks in our financial system. He doesn't see the risks of the dollar. I mean, I know that there are a lot of people who are in cryptocurrencies who are not criminals. I mean, the vast majority of people who are in them uh, are not criminals. And there's, there's valid reasons for being worried about the U.S. banking system, about the U.S. dollar. And people should be 
seeking out safe havens. It's not just people that live in countries that obviously have monetary problems, right? There are, there are countries going through massive inflation right now, and people need a solution. But I think that that's America's future. If you want to look at what's happening in some countries in, you know, in South America, I mean, the same thing could happen in North America. And so I think people need an alternative. So I disagree with Jamie Dimon that everything is fine and there's nothing to worry about. But where I agree with him is that Bitcoin is not the solution. I do believe that it's like, you know, digital tulip bulbs, and I do believe that it's going to collapse. I do believe it's going to end badly, and I do believe that people are going to lose a lot of money. I, I don't necessarily think the governments will shut it down because I think it'll shut itself down. But if I'm wrong and it gets even bigger and bigger, then I think the governments will shut it down. But one way or another, I think it's going to end very badly for the people who are holding on to the currencies. I, of course, everybody in the audience knows that HSBC Bank uh, organized, they d developed boxes in which the drug cartels in Mexico could fit a million dollars in U.S. dollars, cash, fiat, the thing that Jamie Dimon uh, didn't seem to understand, that, that most drug laundering and money laundering happens in dollars. Max, what do you say about this tulip bulb argument that everybody throws around? Uh, well, I mean, the price is high, but uh, the, bu the, the bubbles that I see are in the U.S. dollar is in an extraordinary bubble. You know, the, the government bond markets are in 200 and 300 year bubbles. Uh, and the, the U.S. bonds have not been this high since for 240 years. We've never seen U.S. bonds this high. In Britain, bonds have never been as high since they created the Bank of England. It's 300 years. That's an enormous bubble. The stock market's in a bubble. Property markets are in bubbles. Um, so, yeah, sure, Bitcoin is high. But it's, it's in reaction to a, f a system that's falling apart because of these other more extreme bubbles. So uh, on a relative basis, I, I don't see it as a bubble as compared to, and we, we both agree that, you know, these things, you know, these, these dollars, you know, there, there are people in Europe that are stuffing euros in toilets. Uh, yeah. If you saw that story in Switzerland, okay, this is the devil's currency and we can all agree on that. You know, Into this, the mic. This is shit, right? Ah. You know, we don't want any of this shit. This is all shit. This is, this is what Jamie Dimon spawns. Into this the shit. mic. This is are the you, fertilizer. Are you prepared to do that with hundreds? Yes. <laughs> I'm prepared to do this with all fiat money. I propose all of you take your fiat money out tonight and burn it. So that make a full commitment to Bitcoin. There's no going back. Don't ever go back. To your oh. fiat money ever. Well, Buy some gold, because Peter's well, got to eat too. You know what? But never, you, you know, yeah, yeah. never go back from you know crypto. What? You know what? <laughs> Using it to buy crypto is the same thing as ripping it up and throwing it on the floor. <laughs> oh, Max, are you going to let that lie? <laughs> well, I, that, in the word of uh, the Big Lebowski, that's like just your opinion, dude. <laughs> Well, how about this? I read an analysis about this whole tulip bubble. Everything gets compared to the tulip bubble. And Bitcoin, they argued, was actually more like the tulip bubble than Peter Schiff could uh, understand in that a lot of the understanding of the tulip bulb mania is actually about fake news by some journalist named McKay. And uh, he reported it wrong. What, in fact, what happened is that people weren't necessarily buying tulip bulbs. They, it was the only financial product available to ordinary citizens. I, you didn't have to be like a qualified investor sort of thing. Yeah, well, uh, McKay, was, I mean, he wrote a book, Popular Delusions of the Madness of yeah. Crowds, but he wasn't around reporting on it back in, in Holland. Yeah. He wrote a book, but I think if they republish that book, they should add a chapter so they can put Bitcoin in there yeah. because it's all, you know, it's all the same mentality. That's the lesson. I mean, everybody here should read that book. Because whether, you know, he got it exactly right or wrong, it is the mentality, the psychology that envelops a bubble. No, oh, that psychology is everywhere. Max and I have talked about gold, silver, Bitcoin for years on our show. We get people who say the same thing in the gold market. They're like, I was hoping to have $3,000 gold now, so I have more fiat currency. So they weren't thinking it. Like most people I know in the Bitcoin space, don't really think of it in dollar terms. They think of it as a different financial system, completely different. A lot of the people in the gold market think of it as how much they could flip it for in a year or two. Well, not, not my clients. I mean, I tell people to, you know, buy your gold and keep track of how many ounces you have. I mean, think in terms of the weight of gold that you own, because mm -hmm. measuring it in dollars can mean nothing if the dollar collapses. But what's real is how much gold you have. 
I, and that I is the other too. difference, like in Bitcoin. And five, I mean, if somebody has 10 ounces of gold, they have 10 times as much gold as somebody who has one ounce. If someone has 10 Bitcoins, they don't have anything more than someone that has one. There's no, there's no extra weight. There's no extra thing that you can do with it. Yeah, but, it's the but same. You, but if you have more gold, it's actually more stuff. You, you know, you can make more things. You have out more of the Satoshis with Bitcoin. Well, you know, but, when, but, but no matter when, how many you have, you still don't have anything. When, when Euro Pacific Capital was recommending foreign stocks and foreign currencies to buy gold mines stocks that in in turn collapsed 80 percent i didn't go around telling your clients that they were in a bubble what do you mean because it was collapsed 80 percent yeah 80 percent collapse i mean there but, was yeah, in gold stocks. so was there yeah. so well and gold stocks were up a thousand percent before they had that but that decline but yeah but there's the volatility gold, so but yes, in, but, in your but, view there's a bubble in this space but, not a bubble in that space because if you've got gold, a bias expressed in, stocks, their, in, though, your, in, in your business gold stocks are a investment in a company. It's not money. I'm not selling gold stocks as a safe haven, low volatility. When I tell my clients to buy gold stocks, it's, hey, this is very risky. And if you think the price of gold could go way up, then you can put some of your money to gold stocks because you have a lot of leverage. And if gold goes up, like if gold goes up to 2000 from here, which is about 1250, and it goes to 2000, that's about a 40% move. I bet people will make 500% in gold stocks. So there's a lot of leverage. A 40% move in gold could take you 500% in stocks. But obviously, if gold goes back down to 1,000, right, your gold stocks could go down 60, 70%. So there's a lot more risk there. But when I tell people to buy m gold, gold is not nearly uh, as volatile. Gold is more of a safe haven. It's a store of wealth. It's an alternative uh, to a fiat currency. Very different than buying stock in a company that is mining gold. In fact, a lot of gold mining companies don't even have gold. They're, they're exploration companies. They're trying to find it. Right. It's uh, a lot of times they don't find any gold. I so know, it's they a, don't. So it's a, they go to zero. So it's a hugely speculative play uh, in, in a bubble situation. And on the Toronto Stock Exchange, a lot of these companies are out there. They're worth absolutely nothing. There's people buy into it. They go to zero. Now, as far as gold being a safe haven, it, it is a safe haven. As I've talked about it myself many times, as is Bitcoin a safe haven. In that, well, it's how can you in, in say that it fulfills in that it fulfills the requirements of of, of a safe haven. In, in terms uh, of money, in terms of looking at it as Bitcoin, money, how many years has Bitcoin been around? Uh, since uh, two thousand and nine. Right. Yeah. So where where is your track record? I mean, to me, it's a risk asset. I mean, you can't say that I'm going to buy Bitcoin today. I mean, Bitcoin's around thirty five hundred dollars of Bitcoin. I mean, it can as easily be at five thousand next week as as three thousand. And how can something that has that much volatility be considered safe? Like, I'm going to park my money in Bitcoin because I'm worried about something. I'm just going to park my money here to keep it safe. I don't want to worry about it. I mean, there's plenty to worry about. I mean, B Bitcoin is riskier than most assets. I would say that it's the most risky asset right now that you have. I mean, if you're selling your stocks, if you own the S&P 500 and you sell that, which is risky, to buy Bitcoin, you've gone from one risky asset to an asset that's even riskier. So well, let's look at the safe haven aspect of the government. Now, China is just trying to ban Bitcoin and ICOs and things like that. Why? Cap they're trying to block capital flight. They're not banning gold. Because why? You can't cross the border with a, a block of gold. But you can transfer $10 million worth of Bitcoin in an instant. You c it, I tried crossing the French London border with $10,000 worth of silver. Believe me, I got stopped, and they were like, yeah. what the heck is this? And it broke my, uh, my Samsonite suitcase. So it, well, it you was... Could take, you could have a gold watch, gold jewelry, you can, and you can, have, you, know, you, you can take stuff across the border. But, I yeah. know you can, but, but that, they, it, it, they uh, uh, notice it. And yes, a lot of people were using Bitcoin in China to circumvent exchange controls to get money out of China. And yes, That's a safe haven. Well, no, no, it's not a safe haven. It was being used as a way to move money out of China. Once they moved it out, maybe they liquidated their Bitcoin and bought Swiss francs or dollars or gold. You don't know what they did with the Bitcoins once they got out of China. Well, we but they used seen... China as a way to circumvent those rules. And so that's why China's cracking down on it because they obviously they don't want their Venezuela rules is cracking down on it? Like every, all these governments are cracking down on Bitcoin, not on gold. Oh, well, that's, I guess that's a positive for gold, isn't it? No, it would suggest that they're not afraid of gold, that it's not as safe that, as, they, as you might think it well, is. Well, why do you think central banks own gold? I mean, I, they, they recognize the value in gold. And, you know, but but they, 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 I think that 
one of the reasons they're not even more aggressive in Bitcoin is they're not as afraid of it. They don't, they don't, they don't, I don't think they, they regard it as, as a real threat to their monetary system. I do think they see it as a potential you know, use for crime. But I do believe that the government will be able to, if they haven't already, figure out how to, di how to trace Bitcoin to the owner by looking at uh, the Internet and using – uh, to, you know, to, to backtrack using search patterns or whatever, and almost like a fingerprint. So it's almost like if a criminal ends up using uh, Bitcoin, that might be how they catch them. They might be able to use the internet to trace people to their wallets and figure it out. And and it's it's, it's so that's where the if they thought it was a real threat to their monetary system, then then they would probably go after it already. So, Max, one thing that Peter Schiff has said is that Bitcoin is not scarce because of all of these new altcoins and ICOs. What do you think about this argument? Uh, well, this, this, the scarcity argument is uh, one where the the ecosystem around Bitcoin, the, the investment in, into the Bitcoin protocol, multi-billion dollar investment, it, it's, it's one that is serving the interest of those who are part of that ecosystem. It's like having a very profitable gold mine uh, you have put money into this gold mine. You are extracting wealth from this gold mine. Um, and there might be other gold mines in the area that you would be interested in mining. Uh, you would have to incentivize to move from the currently the profitable gold mine into another gold mine. Um, and that is not – there's a cost associated with that. And um, – as far as the other coins that have come along that are mimicking attributes of Bitcoin, you have other competitors for gold. You have silver, you have platinum, you have other precious metals, you have other collectibles. There's a huge uh, market around the world for so-called scarce commodities or scarce commodities that represent value. Uh, in the case of Bitcoin, it is the, um, the, the one that is attracting um, the, the most fervent interest at this time. And... It has. Um, it's not something that can be uh, replicated easily. It's in the way that you can't replicate, let's say, the HTTP protocol that runs uh, the internet, parts of the internet. This is an established protocol. It's an entrenched uh, protocol. You could come up with a competitor in five minutes, but it, you already have the network effect that's built this out over years. Um, it's not uh, something that can be replicated, uh, and the, the, you wouldn't be a user base for it. Uh, it is possible that on the extreme case that you would have something coming along and competing with Bitcoin, um, but that risk also represents itself in precious metals as too, the probability of it. Yeah. Well, first of all, yes. I mean, there are other metals that function as money. Silver is used as money. Copper is used as money. That's been true for hundreds of years or thousands of years as well. But there is no substitute for gold and that there is no other metal that is gold. I mean, they're, they're not going to come up with a, a new gold. So yes, you can use other metals as money and that's already there and that's been happening. Uh, but that is very different than Look, the... Go in gold is, is periodic table element number 79, I believe, and it has unique attributes that people have glommed onto for thousands of years and it's chemically the way that it, it is chemically and it has survived as, in this store of value. And Bitcoin has attracted, in likewise a, a manner, uh, a unique ecosystem of developers, and 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 it has this the model that is um, has a well balanced interest all associated with this multi billion dollar franchise. Yeah, I get that, but that my, my is, point that is, has, let me. Uh, it's unique. Yeah, it is unique. It is I, as unique as gold. I to say think, that it's not as unique as gold is false. I don't think it's unique as gold. It's I false. think, it's a I false think there are plenty of other cryptocurrencies that are as good. Or better there's than gold, Bitcoin. there's platinum, there's silver, there's other yeah, but precious not, metals. Look, and you don't, it's your you, opinion. You I don't mean, know. Is, look, they're, they're equally well, unique no, in their no, own no, way. No, no, one, no, is point. One, is, one is electronic and one is physical. Well, look, okay. you know, to, to say that even if these cryptocurrencies were going to work, that the first cryptocurrency is going to end up being the, the one that everybody wants. It's like saying, well, yeah, the first cell phone is the one everybody uses. You know those big bricks? Although the first one, you know, was a car phone or, you know, you know what the first television set looked like? It had a tiny little screen, you know, it was like a big, big, big piece of furniture with like, like a two inch screen. I mean, assuming that the world is going to want cryptocurrencies, there's going to be so many more that are going to come around that are going to get rid of the ones that are already maybe better than Bitcoin. Um, so there's an unlimited, unlimited number of new cryptocurrencies that can be introduced into the world that people can buy instead of. 
Bitcoin, and Bitcoin has already spun off Bitcoin Cash, so now it, they've even diluted itself by creating another Bitcoin. I mean, how many more Bitcoin spinoffs are there going to be over time? So who knows what the supply of Bitcoin will be by all of its various names, but then you have all these other cryptocurrencies coming out. I mean, I get, I get emails now all the time from people, newsletters, trying to get me to give them 50 bucks to get the name of the next three uh, penny cryptos that are going to skyrocket a thousand percent. You know, I mean, it, it, this is all over the place now. These coins are coming up left and right. So the supply of digital currencies is exploding. And just because people have invested a bunch of money. And, and the market is sustaining this uh, birth it's of other because there's huge demand in light of the problems it's, that the Bitcoin is set up to address in, it, in the banking industry and the flotation of hundreds yes, of trillions of dollars. Yes, it's sustaining it now. Rate. And they would love to go to gold, but gold is dead on arrival. It hasn't moved in four <laughs> years. You know, yeah. it's like oh, well, gold it's, is sitting there sleeping, looking at Bitcoin. And what you yourself, you know, got pitched on Bitcoin when it was like three bucks or so on the Joe Rogan. No, show, it wasn't, as we found out on the show, no, it wasn't show. three bucks. It was like twenty. On bucks, my show, still, it was three bucks. Well, I don't even, all right, but but um, yes, there's a lot of greedy people who are chasing this bubble with delusions of all the wealth. I thought you make. were a libertarian. Isn't greed part of libertarianism? <laughs> that we're trying to build look, a yes, better no, society through self-interest. Look. People, people have a right to be greedy and they have a right to be foolish and people are being both, right, when they're, when, they're, when they're chasing into this mania. But there is an unlimited supply of these currencies and right now, yes, there is demand because there are a lot of fools who think they're going to get rich buying them. But, but at some but point, no. the, the supply is going to overwhelm the demand no, okay. and the price is going to collapse. So Max and I were at the I Buddhist Bank in, in Frankfurt and they have a money museum there. And walls and walls of all the things that have been money and tried as money. People always come back to gold. The same thing will happen with cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin will always be the gold standard. How do you know that? It's only but, been around. But, it's been around for but, such a short period of time. How can you make might, a statement? People are always going to want bitcoins. So, wherever the network is. So, all right, is let me where ask you a question. Right, right, What's right, the right, lowest right. price you think Bitcoin could fall to? Um, well, it would, it, it's a function of the cost of mining, which is but, approximately $1,000 uh, Bitcoin, so it would, could drop to 1000 Just right, like so, in the mining industry, when the mining cost of mining gets below, what is well, gold out of the uh, mining stops. It's the right. same analogy no, But, that, to but that would just mean that there would be no more supply, but you'd have the existing supply. But, so and if, there's and a huge demand. I mean, to your point no, no, that but, will supply ever exceed demand and therefore there'll be a crash, I think that's a misstatement because right now the demand for cryptocurrencies is not even scratched to the surface due to the hundreds of trillions of dollars in derivatives that are collapsing around the world. That's you're assuming that that demand, look. But of course they have to collapse. You know, you can't go to negative interest rates. You can't incentivize people to lend money at the government at a guaranteed negative rate of return, they're only doing this at the point of a gun. It's freaking central bank communists, you know, who think that, oh, we're going to get people to invest well, at know. a negative rate of return, and if well, you don't, we're going to put a bullet in your head. I mean, yeah, that's well, the model that these central banks are pursuing. Well, that's the model of the dollar. I mean, we right, both is, don't like the dollar, there, except but, you've got a boner for gold in a, <laughs> in a reason that doesn't make any sense, well, because they're compatible. No, we should be on the same page. No, your I, customers I, I, want crypto. You want me to You're join saying no. Me? It's uh, my ideology not, prevents not, you from making money. Look, well, your customers look, look, a year from now are going to say, "Why did you talk me out of this? Here's you freaking problem, idiot!" Because now I'm broke. Max. Just like they did three years ago. Max. It's going to happen again and again right. and again. The reason the arguments don't make okay. sense. The reason we can't be on the same page is because you're in a fiction book and I'm in a non-fiction book. I'm not. You're actually in a comic book, right? And yes, in a comic book. This could work. When I look at my reality, Bitcoin wallet compared to gold money, uh, I, I, trust me, I'm right, not well, in a comic book. Look, look. As a matter of fact, I'd like to buy gold money right look. now. I'll make you an offer just to shut this debate down. All right, well, look. Okay. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're a Bitcoin billionaire, you can't even afford a suit? How, much, I mean, how, many, how, many, how many billionaires do you know wear suits? <laughs> All right, all right. So, but look, I, I, I don't right, need well, to wear can, a suit. I'm not up, selling anything. You can pick it's up a, the it self sells no. itself. Anyone who's got a brain and a conscience and a w w desire Everybody. to be free is going to want to be in crypto. They're no, not going to be you, walking you, around with a shitload of gold. Hi, you, I've got two tons Max. of gold. Oh, you, let me into your country. I want to be you free. Need, let me into you your country. Max. They'll say, Max. I'll take your gold right now, Max. and you're going to jail.
You, you know that you need more people to come into the pyramid to keep pushing up the price. But I, can, I don't have to care. I can have $10 million worth of gold in my wallet right now and walk around with it. I, don't, I can I don't have, have a it. billion on my memory wallet and go until anywhere in the world. A 12-word key to my wallet. Until it's worthless. Until nobody wants it. The I demand know. is there because now, people that, don't want the... You know, Fiat money that they're, they're throwing into the toilet, the and they want some either. gold too. I but have plenty of gold. Want those fiat crypto monies either. It's the same. It's going to be the same thing. Okay. You know, the, me... That's what people told me about the housing bubble. There's all this demand. They said, I said yes, but when the demand goes away, there's just supply. And all these houses nobody wanted to buy, and the prices implode. But they you know, didn't go to zero. No. No, because you what? can live in a house. There's actual value. <laughs> okay. There's nothing you can do. You know, Bitcoin will probably not go to zero. It'll probably be a few pennies because there'll always be an optionality there. Somebody will buy it like a lottery ticket. Peter, how many stock. times do we have to hear about you calling the housing bubble before you finally move on? Okay. I mean, he had one good call I, I, from I, I, 2007. I didn't have one good call. I and now we're here every time we go. It's like, I called the housing bubble. Yeah, we. Yeah, that was like no, ten I'm, years ago. Already. I am. It's not about my calling well, it. Where were you during Bitcoin? It. Look, I. Okay, I. I didn't participate in the dot com bubble. I didn't participate in the housing bubble, and I didn't participate in the cryptocurrency Bitcoin bubble either. So I'm consistent. Gold mining in stock bubble. bubble, though. There was a gold mining stock bubble. But I didn't buy them at the high. You highs. recommended them. Really you were, you did too. Okay. Ask. Yeah, ask. Ask, ask Mike. As but, part of a diversified portfolio, yes. Well, let's, right. let's, so, let's, diversified, therefore, yeah. that I didn't lose money. I didn't lose money because it was diversified. No, we have I have less than I started with, but it's not less because I was diversified. <laughs> that negative number there, so that's, about, not, hey, that's not negative. What it's about a diversified Max? number. Max. You see so, what I'm saying? Max. It's a tax write-off, which is a gain. Max. You made money because you got it written off on your taxes. What about the people who bought Bitcoin at 1000 and then when it went down to 200 they sold it and they lost 80% of their money? What about that? They're idiots. Well, you can't account for speculators. Well, I mean, that's your that's your whole business is dealing with your no. customers buying gold mining stocks in 2008. But, they dropped 80%. They sold if, them. I, I, we, I listened to you on the podcast on radio nursing people from yes. coming off the ledge to kill themselves. And they, You're yes. like, don't sell now. Don't kill yourself. And, and I was right because you know how much they right. rallied you'll be from right. 08 to 2000. And you know how much where Bitcoin's going? It's going Bit to 100,000, dude. No, it's not. And you're going to be on the, the it's, Connecticut train station looking at your watch saying, it's not, how the fuck did I end yeah, up with I owning going this to shit? A, it's going to 100,000 Zimbabwe you're gonna be, dollars. You're going to be outside okay. washing dishes. You brought up the dot-com bubble as well. Max participated in that. He had a dot-com company and many of the companies that of that time how did that work out yeah but they yeah. sold it to Cantor fitzgerald for a shitload of money but they used my technology in the derivatives trading markets to, to feather the nest of howard lutnick and all those Cantor fitzgerald's guys they moved it to the top floor of the world trade center three months before 9 11. that's exactly what happened and my but, comment to howard lutnick was i told you it's a prediction market but 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 that's Interesting because actually Max mentioned the patent that uh, you was used on the Hollywood Stock Exchange to price virtual commodities, which now that patent is referenced over and over and over again by J.P. Morgan, BlackRock, all these people to price derivatives. So a lot of value did emerge out of the dot-com bubble, including the likes of Amazon. Now Amazon almost went to zero back then. Many of these companies did. Now they're Yes, you know, the vast majority went to zero and stayed there. But yes, there were a few of those companies that survived and, and went up. But even, so can but, we get that in the crypto space? We're trying to find some common ground here. Well, so do you think there'll be a few survivors and, but, and, and most of them will go to zero? Look, I, I don't think any of them are going to win. I mean, people say, well, I'm going to have a diversified portfolio of crypto so I get the winners. They're all going to lose. I mean, the difference is... You know, some of these companies were legitimate companies. They, they built a market. They built a customer base. They got revenues. You know, they generated mm -hmm. profits or, you know, uh, and, and so they, they came back and they grew. I just don't think that if, if you get a big drop in Bitcoin, let's say the price does go back down to 1000 or But you're basically only looking at the share price, essentially. The price of Bitcoin is the share price of, say, Apple. Apple has a share price, and then they have products. There's many products in the cryptocurrency community. The blockchain, there's all sorts of functions. And even look at this Equifax hack. That wouldn't happen in the, in the blockchain space because you well, control the, your private the keys. People, but the people, the people who are buying Bitcoin now, are, are, they're not the hardcore libertarians that bought them when you guys bought them. These are speculators. These are hedge funds that, that want to make a quick buck. They don't but even all have markets need losers, right? Well, the, 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 well, well, these are the losers. The ones that are buying in now are going to be the big losers. Uh, you know, when the price goes down.
But I think once, you know, yes, once the price collapses, you know, then you have a big problem with the brand because it's hard to sell something as a currency as a safe store of your purchasing power if it's collapsed in price and you don't know where the bottom is. It could keep collapsing. I mean, people might say, oh, don't worry. It'll go back up because it went back up before. There's no guarantee. Just because, just because Bitcoin has survived Mount Gox, it survived. Like yeah, it survived a not even a decade. No, Let's see it, and it's you know, made it stronger and stronger. Like the, the most genius minds out there work in the crypto space. They, well, they're, 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 the brands always survive if there's a thought to make money. I mean, look at the sovereign bond market with various countries going bankrupt. Uh, and then they come back a year later and they can sell bonds because there's people out there willing to take on risk to make uh, some return on their money in the financial products industry. So Bitcoin is, is an instrument, it's a financial instrument in that regard. And regardless of the, the, the price action or the move in the price action, there will be people perceive it in good value. What is the value proposition of Bitcoin? It fulfills all the four major category, categories under Aristotle's proposition for good money. What is value? It's the portability, divisibility, fungibility, and scarcity and desirability. It fulfills all those characteristics. I, and, I would, and to not I would to debate understand the that, scarcity, but it doesn't have any real – money must be a commodity in and of itself before it's money. These, it must have commodity. actual use. No, it's it, not. It, it is, it is okay, so you tell me what it, it, if I, what can you do with your bitcoins right now? Sound? What? What? what I have a, I have a bitcoin debit card. I can go no, anywhere no, but that's in the not, world that's and buy spending stuff. it. If, that's right. What uh, can you uh, do? But Peter, I believe I can, I, can I, I can secure uh, immutably no. for all time in history a data. Uh, on no, a blockchain, what, no. the Bitcoin block is the biggest but, but blockchain in the, the world. You don't need Every Bitcoin 10 minutes, it's totally verified. No, yes, no. you do. You can, uh, because otherwise, you have the ability of others to come in and change that database. Databases, no. You can have any database product and come along and secure data, but it's not immutable and it's not stored. No, it has it, to it's have. secure because of the technology of proof of work. It has to have an actual Every 10 use. minutes. Apart from it's securing useful. data is useful. Securing uh, what data are you securing? Any any data that you would what want. What data are you securing? Uh, financial data, mortgage data. The, the but on your personal data, if, you have, if uh, I have one, my Bitcoin, birth no. certificate, my no. personal data, my verification of but who I am. Need, so I don't need Equifax but you don't to need, sell my data and, you, and lose my data and, and fuck my data. I can have my data on a private either. key and say this is me. It's immutable. It's every ten yes, minutes. It's verified. But, That's who I am. Give me my fucking money. You don't need Bitcoin. Bitcoin either. Yes, you, you can, do, because you, it's the most can, secure, it's the you, only secure database that's ever been invented. No, that's you, the technology. You fail to understand no, that it's a new technology no, that is as profound as the printing press or the electric light bulb. You know, you, You're comparing it to things that you shouldn't be comparing it to. It yeah. makes no sense. You're talking nonsense. Yeah, this is okay. look, it's a brand new see, breakthrough look, in technology. Your like, kids are gonna be wondering why their no, dad didn't see the yeah, value. They'll yeah, be like, is, Dad must have been on drugs because you never saw the Look, this is this is a cult of Bitcoin. This is your guru. This is the type of reaction that you're going to get. I mean, you might as well be Sung Young Moon or something, or you know, just don't 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 drink any. Let uh, me of his, help. Of his let me aid. help you help yourself. <laughs> Peter, do you accept yeah. Bitcoin? Huh? Does Euro Pacific Capital? Well, Euro Pacific uh, precious you metals. You do. No, so we don't accept Bitcoin. What we do you is do. we make it easy for people who have Bitcoin to sell it to get dollars to buy gold from Shift Gold. But we do not accept Bitcoin, and nobody really accepts. There's no company who accepts, accepts gold. Who what accepts gold? You've well, got your gold metal card in there. And you say, "Look, I've got my gold card." When you use it at a retailer, they make it right back to dollars. No, they know, don't keep but, it in gold. But they don't want the gold because you can't pay taxes in gold. I, you can't have any value in gold. Nobody accepts gold. But I can, look, I can wear my gold. There's a ring. You can't do anything. I can wear my gold. hard drive up my asshole no, and know that I'm a millionaire. <laughs> that and without you knowing but, about it, see, look, because it's Max, anonymous. I don't Max, need to flash my wealth. Max, I know it's in my brain. No, see, Max is talking about gold money where. You can you can get a debit card to convert your gold into dollars. Show the but card. What, Show but, the card. But what Show gold money can do, I can take my gold there and transfer it to a merchant. But believe me, if most merchants, if they knew they can get paid in gold, would want it because gold, I would rather get paid in gold than dollars. Gold is real money. Gold is stable and reliable. No one wants to take a chance on being paid in Bitcoin. But if people thought they can be paid in gold, they would go for it. But this is my gold, my, my uh, gold money card. This is my actually. paper wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this has my keys you know right here, my private my keys. I'm, 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 I'm blind. Which is actually worth but something. my card actually goes up in money. value instead of gold, which is going down. Yeah, all right. Well, let's, let's, let's see. You know what? Let's see what you say in a couple of weeks.
if Bitcoin is way lower. You still, I'll say bye. Are you still, no matter I'll how low bye. it is, you'll be saying bye-bye, right? It doesn't matter how low it goes, you're just going to take this uh, ship and ride it all the way to the bottom, right? You're just going down with it. Uh, right? well, it doesn't matter how low it goes. I, I believe that there is an intrinsic value price point around $1,000, and I think that you can get down to there possibly. And I would recommend the, the need for it is, is profound, and it's universal, and people are buying it who are in dire circumstances in countries that have been mentioned, like Venezuela and yeah. other countries. Where well, they, you they might can't... have confidence. I Believe me, a lot of people will lose confidence in Bitcoin at 1000 A lot of people who bought it at 5000 4000 3000 it goes to 1000 and they're staring at, well, where's it going? next back to 5000 or down to 100 there's a lot of that's money that's true of being. every speculative class or every investment but a lot class of yes of any, well, any, of anything but, but possibly then, but, under the sun it's not unique to bitcoin you're not unique to gold but you're trying to just sell because it gold has haven. been sleepy and dormant and hasn't moved in four years yeah but look make how it much, much more interesting. it's moved up a lot since this this decade or this century it started in 2000 below 300 it moved up to 1900 it pulled back it formed a base I think it's going to go up again, 5000 10000 The price of gold is going I, higher. I would believe the exact same thing for Bitcoin. It's just forming a base. It, it's going to be... It's not the, forming the, the a base. It's just forming a bubble. In the 3,000s. There's no in the base. Three, in your view, that's your view. And you can entitled it, it, to your view. It, it, but in my view, and in those people who are buying this, they're forming a base. A lot of people share my opinion, too. I'm not the only one that thinks this way. Well, so. the establishment media that has a vested interest in pushing dollar bills to finance wars. Look, I mean, that's no, right. Look, because look, warmongers got to fight. To warmongers got to kill people. To warmongers Rogers, love the dollar. Favor, oh, where's the gold come from? Rickards. I mean, there's a lot of other... Austrian Every single one of them have missed the Bitcoin. Yeah, they, they Every all single one of them. with me. These are all... And they're not, all losing. They're, they're, they're all on a relative basis. The performance sucks. They're missing out on the opportunity to profit from other people's greed and ignorance. That's what they're doing. Yes. Uh, you know, this is one of those questions where you have to wait you six have to months, wait two a year, wait three years to say, are, we're going to look back and say, why are all right? these smart people? Why don't we get it? See, people think, well, why, Peter Schiff doesn't get it. Well, you know, I'm just too old. I'm too set in my ways. Or, you know, I sell gold, so I have a conflict of interest. You know, why don't I, why don't I get it? What's wrong with me? You got to ask, what's wrong with yourselves? I don't get it. I'm a smart guy. And so maybe I don't get it because there's nothing to get. People keep saying, well, you just don't understand it. Maybe I understand it, and that's why I don't, I don't buy it. I think you have the no, delusion You know what here. I think it is? Okay. We only have, we have two minutes left. That's so it? a final statement from each of you. Uh, oh, they, they're going to storm the stage here. So <laughs> which one wants to go first? What's the... Uh, Peter. Okay, Peter, go first. Uh-oh. Oh, look, my, my final statement is, look, I'm pretty sure that I'm right, but... Let's say that Max is right, all right? And Bitcoin is going to go to a million, or where's it going? A million, a billion, whatever, right? Right. You don't need to keep all the ones that you have now because you'll still be rich, and I'll still be poor because I won't have any. So why don't you take some of your Bitcoins, especially some of your profits, or maybe your principal, your original investment, and convert it into real money, right? Go to goldmoney.com and take your, take your big... Hey, just take some. I'm not telling you to I've take all. I've got some there. Just take a little bit off the top. Just put it aside just in case I'm right. I've been right before, so it's possible I could be right again. So just hedge yourself a little bit. Take a little bit of money. Take some, buy some real gold. And you can still use it in commerce. You can spend it. You can send it around the world for free. You can do all the things that you can do with Bitcoin, uh, but you can do it with actual gold. And, and, and okay. do that. And then still hope that I'm wrong and you become, you know, millionaires or billionaires. And, you know, I'll be, I'll, at least I'll know where to go when I need money because I want to have Okay, any. one more minute now, Max. Okay, yeah. uh, so right. I'm, I'm surprised. Well, first of all, I've known Peter a long time. We've kind of been in this business for 30, 25 years. So it started out similar, doing similar things on Wall Street and stuff. So we, we have a lot of fun together. And... Um, well, I'm sure this won't be the last of these conversations. But I'm, I'm surprised that you uh, didn't bring up the best use case for gold and silver in your own home where you live in Puerto Rico. Just got scraped, and there's no energy. There's no electricity. So clearly, uh, in that circumstance, it would not be ideal for a Bitcoin. Right. There's no – all the cell phones are down. That's right. It's you complete, can't call it, anybody. Right. The Internet is gone. And, 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 yeah. and, you, and you live in Puerto Rico. So I'm surprised right. you didn't bring that up unless you're feel guilty about being a tax dodger. But anyway, so um, – <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm not dodging. I'm just avoiding. Yes. <laughs> just like the president. 
That's it, buddy. It's just avoiding. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm you know, although I believe. Well, who's going to rebuild Puerto Rico? Is it going to be the government? Yes. yes it's yeah. going to be well, all well, you taxpayers. Is it going to be the taxpayers that you didn't pay? No, no, are bailing be, you out? No, all these people are bailing you it's out. It's going to be, well, they're not going to give me any of the money. They're not going to rebuild They'll get my, the Puerto Rico. Anyway. But okay. yeah, we're so going to print up a bunch of money. We're going to borrow it from China. A round of applause for our team. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is momentous. Great to see. By the way, y'all did great. We loved yeah. you back there. It was Special marvelous. We might Peter have to do this again. What do you say? Again, sometime? Thanks, sir. Thanks. Stacy, thank you.